Hello, welcome back to the video and welcome back to yet another vlog. Today we're working out here in the backyard, the overgrown jungle as I like to call it because it is really, really overgrown. But today we're going to be setting this pond up right here, this blue plastic container. And right now you can see there's some water in it. This is just from the rain. That's It's been raining for the past couple of days and you can see how dirty it is on the side. But we're going to get this thing cleaned up. I'm going to pull more weeds out. I actually cleared this area out about three weeks ago. But the weather's been so bad I've been putting off setting this thing up and more weeds have grown in so I've got to pull them out. And I think it's about time we get this thing started. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this area up a little bit and we're gonna get this thing all set up so I hope you're excited subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss stuff like this let's start probably not the smartest idea dumping all that water where I'm gonna put the pond but at least it makes pulling out the weeds easier I don't want to cut them up because I want to get the roots out as well so uh, I'm gonna get started get some gloves on and we're gonna pull all these weeds out Alright, so as you can see, I've cleared this area out. I'm pretty happy with the progress so far and I can't wait to get the plastic pond up. Uh, but I tried moving this rock over this way, but it's way too heavy. I can't do that by myself. But that's no problem because we'll put this plastic pond on top of this rock. So it'll be coming out kind of like this and we'll put cinder blocks all over the place so we can level it out. And this rock will be sticking out a little bit, so we'll still have a little bit of a stepping stone. If we want to add another stepping stone, we can definitely do that. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put this plastic sheet. This is to block weeds from growing out under this pond. So we're going to do that. But before I do that though, actually, I'm going to sprinkle some of this powder and this thing kills uh, weeds. So we'll put that underneath there for extra protection. And then we'll put this sheet down. Okay, so I've got that down and I'm, I'm liking it so far, but I don't expect this to block out all the weeds. There are some gaps where the weeds can grow out from, so if weeds do come out, I, I don't really mind it. It's okay. It's just, it's what nature does. So uh, next up, I'm going to go get cinder blocks because I don't have enough and I'm going to get gravel as well. So I'll see you guys in just a while. I forgot to pin this down, so I'll do that first. Now, we're going to the home center. Look at that stance, look how low it is back there from all that weight it's carrying, but let's get everything out of here. Alright, that's it. Now we gotta get this to the backyard. Got the cinder blocks down, now let's get this thing on top of that. Completely forgot about the gravel. Gotta get this 
down first. Perfect, take a look at how good that looks. My hands are all filthy right now, my camera is dirty as well. I'm really liking this. I went for the cheapest gravel as well as the most natural looking gravel. So I'm pretty happy with this outcome. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But now I say it's finally time to get this thing on top of there. All right guys, so it's been a couple of days again and I've just been delaying on setting the pond up because I've been thinking so much about what I really want to do and I need some of you guys' help. So take a look at this and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. So I've been delaying because I've just been thinking whether I want to set up a cover for this, try and make it look pretty. I've already leveled the pond, I've checked all four corners and stuff like that. I've put shims underneath where it's a little bit low so I've raised up the low points and it seems to be leveled and it's actually ready to be filled up right now but I, I just... I want to know, would you make it look pretty or would you just use it as it is like this? I, I really don't mind both ways, but I want to know what you guys would do. The four little goldfish that I adopted though, they're looking amazing and they're coloring up so much. Take a look at the black moor. That guy was all black when I got him, but now he's starting to change colors. And some people dislike that, that they change colors completely, but I really don't mind. I just like seeing these guys grow and live happy. The only thing I'm a little bit sad about is that this guy, the black moor, he's got... Both of his eyes are not in good condition, and I don't know if he can see properly because he always gets the least amount of food, and I always have to watch him to make sure he's getting enough food, but he seems to be doing pretty well in here, and I just can't wait to see them outside, but another thing to note is that there's also a bunch of algae growing in this tank, and I think it would be super nice to have a goldfish tank with just algae, like a like an algae carpet or something like that, but... I don't think I'll be doing that anytime soon. I really want to get these guys outside and into a nice pond. So here's some of the sinking food I've been giving them. And they really love eating. I still do give them some floating food once in a while. Um, many people say floating food causes their uh, swim bladder disease or whatever. But that, I, I really believe, is not the case. And there's, there's just no real answer to why they get swim bladder problems but maybe it's overfeeding I don't know there's there's a lot of reasons I don't want to get into that because I'm no expert and I, I just want to give them a happy life that's that's the best thing I can do for them and you can just see they love food and I do want to feed them vegetables as well I know that goldfish can eat vegetables like broccoli and stuff like that I think it'll be fun to to give them a variety like that the fish room though is almost complete. I've got the ceilings painted as well as the pillars, all the metal pillars in here. I'm not going to show you the ceilings just yet because that'll be in the next video. Uh, but the pillars, you guys can probably see it, but I don't know if you can tell exactly what color it is, but it is looking really, really nice. And next up, I'm going to be doing all the walls in this room and I still don't know what color I'm going to go, but uh, I'm, I'm thinking maybe white just to brighten up this room a lot more. and. I, I really can't wait. I hope you guys are excited to see the final results of this fish room and then we'll get all the tanks set up again. So once again, let me know in the comments down below, what would you do with this pond? Would you use it as it is right now or would you dress it up and make it look better uh, before adding fish in? And another thing I needed to mention is the filtration for this. I'm not going to have any like... Uh, power filters or anything running this. I was thinking of doing like a DIY pond filter, one of those trickle things, but there's nowhere to plug electricity out here. And the only place where I have electricity on the outside of this house is on the other side of the house. And what I'm thinking of doing is I'm planning to put an air pump out there and bring air out using PVC piping all the way over here. So around the house, Coming out here and we'll have a couple of sponge filters in here. We'll use the aquarium co-op sponge filters as well as maybe a DIY sponge filter. And we actually really don't need filtration. Uh, I've seen so many ponds um, out here without filtration, keeping goldfish, keeping rice fish, no filters at all. It's really not needed if you have plants and a good setup. But the reason why I really want sponge filters in this is because oxygenation is just so important for goldfish, especially since it gets super hot out here. It'll help cool down the water, and I know the goldfish will really appreciate it. They don't need it, but it's best to have it, 
and it'll help them out a lot. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already because we're gonna be getting goldfish in this pond very, very soon and we're gonna be adding more than just the four that I've already had. We're gonna have a whole group of them in this pond as well as a bunch of plants growing out of this thing. It's gonna be amazing and I hope you guys are ready. I'll see you guys next time. Oh,